one other thing that I think is interesting that's connected to our gut health is sleep. Yeah. Um, and that can be kind of a vicious cycle. The older we get, the tougher it is to sleep. So that af affects your gut health. You know, how do we how do we balance all that if you know sleep is kind of an issue? And what role does it play in our gut health? Sleep plays a big role as well. I mean, uh, lack of sleep is one of the biggest risk factors for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Mm -hmm. Um, we also know there's a lot of interesting studies showing that um, lack of appropriate sleep can affect the composition of the gut microbiome, which can in turn affect um, your cognition or how you think. And so there is a connection between the composition of the microbiome and, you know, mood disorders and brain health. And we know that if we uh, have good sleep practices that we can affect that change. You think of sleep as kind of the time when your brain gets to have a bath. And so, you know, if people say, oh, I can run off of two, three hours of sleep, no big deal, I'm okay, I would say to them, well, would you not take a shower for two or three days too and go have all these business meetings and try to make business deals and things like that? And most pine people will say, no, no, I, that, that's crazy. Well, it's the same thing. If you don't wash your brain every day, you have buildup of toxins and things that need to be cleaned out of, of your nervous system so that you can think. And you may not feel it, you know, on one day or two day, but cumulatively this does affect your brain health, which can affect, uh, you know, your long-term risk for Alzheimer's. It also has risk for inflammation and heart disease as well. Even the American Heart Association has come out and said that, you know, you want to kind of target around seven hours of sleep to help keep your risk for heart disease um, uh, most ideal low.